fall. Do you know what this means? Pumpkin spice latte. To celebrate this wonderful uh, change of the season and hopefully the soon change in the weather, I am doing the finally fall book tag. I am also wearing this flannel. It's flannel. Even though it is not cold enough to wear a flannel. And I'll probably be sweating by the end of this video, but it looks very fallish, so that's what I'm wearing. Let's get started with this tag. In fall, the air is crisp and clear. Name a book with a vivid setting. For this one, I decided to go with the book The Alliance by Jolena Petersheim. The synopsis really intrigued me. It was just really different from anything that I'd ever like read before. Basically in this book there is like a huge power outage and this man crashes his plane in the middle of a Mennonite community and so the Englishers and the Mennonites have to like work together to try to get through this like crazy end of the world event. And while I was reading it I just like I felt like I was like there in the midst of the situation. Like you could just feel like the heaviness of the situation and what was going on and it just kind of felt like kind of dark and gloomy and dreary kind of feel to it and like it was kind of depressing which is probably a big reason why I didn't end up liking this book very much like it was definitely interesting different from anything I've ever read before but I'm not I have no interest in finishing this series honestly I don't really care what happens to these characters but yeah it was definitely interesting and very unique Nature is beautiful, but also dying. Name a book that is beautifully written, but also deals with a heavy topic like loss or grief. One of the few books that I do have that deals with a heavy topic would be Priceless by Joel and Luke Smallbone from the band for King Country. Um, they're amazing, check them out. I have not actually read this book, but I have watched the movie several times. So the heavy topic that this book deals with is sex trafficking. And normally, like, I would stay far away from a book that deals with this subject because it's just, like, super depressing and it upsets me and I don't want to read about it. And it's just really horrible, but it's priceless. And if you know me, you know that For King and Country is one of my favorite bands and I love the song Priceless. I'm even, I'm wearing the shirt right now. It's very appropriate. You're priceless. And I'm wearing the priceless necklace. And, yeah. So, since I have not actually read this, I can't say if the writing is beautiful or not, but I mean, it's I know it's it's a good story. So this is this is what I'm going with. Fall is back to school season. Share a nonfiction book that taught you something new. For this one, I picked God's Double Agent by Bob Fu, and I read this book several years ago. It's been a while, but reading this book, like I learned a lot about the Chinese government and the way things work and like rules that they had that I have or have still that I had like no idea about um, like living there as a Christian and like the rules for like churches that they have like you can't just like have any kind of church it has to be like approved by the government there's only like a certain denomination I forget what it's called and stuff about like having you're limited on the number of children you're allowed to have and you have to get like approval before you can have kids and stuff and if I'm not mistaken you can only have like two kids or something like that per family and if you have more than that like you can get in trouble and all this stuff and there was just like a lot of interesting stuff and really terrible things that I learned about like China and living there and stuff from reading this book this was a really really good book um, I definitely recommend it um, it was a good story my dad ordered this for me from the voice of the martyrs magazine a while back and um, I'm glad he did in order to keep warm it's good to spend time with people we love name a fictional family household or friend group that you'd like to be a part of so the first group that came to mind with this one was the young tribulation force but then I was like um no I actually don't want to be a part of that group that would be completely awful and then the second group that I thought of was, I want to be a part of the resistance. And then I was like, no, that's awful too. I would die. So then I finally settled on the Gerstenberg family from the Hagenheim series by Melanie Dickerson. They have a really big family and the dad, he's like a duke. And so like all of his kids are like basically royalty. I mean, not really, but like to me, they're kind of like princesses, all of his daughters. So I'm like, that would be amazing. Though it's in medieval times and that would really be difficult, but we're just going to ignore that. I think it would be kind of fun. So yeah, that's the one I settled on. I would really enjoy being part of their family, at least for a time, you know, not permanently. Nothing like truly terrible ever happens to them. It's always like a happily ever after, so I think that's a good choice. The colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a pile of fall-colored spines. Okay. 
So this is like, this is the stack of fall colored books that I have managed to come up with. A lot of good books in here. Okay, fall is the perfect time for some storytelling by the fireside. Share a book wherein somebody is telling a story. The only book or series that I could think of was Chuck Black's Kingdom series. And in all of his books, this guy named Cedric is telling the story of each of these books. There's Kingdom's Dawn, the first book in the Kingdom series. One of my favorite series, by the way. If I haven't mentioned it already in any of my videos, like you're gonna hear me mention Chuck Black and this series and his other series many, many times in the future. The nights are getting darker. Share a dark, creepy read. Okay, we've already discussed in a previous video that I'm really not into reading like creepy things. Um, because I'm easily creeped out and I don't want to be like scared when I go to bed, call me a baby, whatever you want. I don't own any scary books. I know I have read some books that have creeped me out in the past, but I can't remember what they are. It's been a while. But I didn't want to skip this question, so I just decided to pick This Present Darkness by Frank E. Peretti. Somebody told me it was scary, and so I was kind of kind of leery of reading it but this is like a really popular book or at least it was at one time so I wanted to read it because I'd heard about it a lot my mom read this like years and years ago and thought it was really good so I found it at the thrift store I got it I read it and it wasn't creepy at all at least not to me but I mean this small town is like invaded by like demons and there's like stuff going on all the time um, and people are like getting hurt there's like this new age cult group going on and stuff and so I mean that that's pretty dark it's it's this book really wasn't creepy at all but this is like the closest thing that I have that I feel like can be used for this question or whatever the days are getting colder name a short heartwarming read that could warm up somebody's cold and rainy day love comes softly by Jeanette Oak this is one of my favorite books of all time. I love Jeanette Oak. She's amazing. This book is just like super sweet. This is the first in her like eight book series of the Love Come Softly series. This one's like my favorite. It is just so good and so sweet and just like makes you feel all warm and happy inside. It's a really good book. I highly recommend this one. It is 237 pages, so it's not super long, but it's not really super short either. Fall returns every year. Name an old favorite that you'd like to return to soon. I don't know. I've just read everything so recently. I am like halfway through the Kids Left Behind series. And I definitely want to finish this series, but it's 12 books. So I kind of take breaks in between books as I go along. Um, partly because like there's a lot of other books that I want to read. And partly because I kind of want to make it last as long as I can. I'm thinking about how I need to like get the next book. Because I'm ready to like get back into that story. The Left Behind series, the kid series, is definitely an old favorite of mine. And it has been for like nine years. Fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. Yes, yes. Every season is perfect for reading. So. Share your favorite cozy reading accessories. I feel like it goes without saying that coffee is one of them, but definitely also like a soft um, blanket. I have to have that in the fall when I'm reading my coffee and my blanket, and I'm good. Those are the two necessities. Spread the autumn appreciation and tag some people. I just tag everyone who like sees this and wants to do it if you have a booktube channel. Guys, I want to know what family or friend group or household you fictional that you would want to be a part of. I really want to hear y'all's answers. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Keep reading books and being excited for fall like I am. I will see y'all in the next Bookish Ramblings video. Bye.